Probably one of the shorter episodes today, because the only thing we are going to do is play our first ever Champions League game with Stuttgart. And I could not have wished for a better opponent, man, because my friends, we are going to Liverpool. <laughs> What's up guys, this is Jochen aka Leo Demus and welcome to part 29 of Stuttgart über alles. In this FM21 series I am trying to transform Vau of B Stuttgart in Germany from a newly promoted Bundesliga club into a European giant. If you are enjoying the series so far or if you are new to the channel and this is the kind of content you are looking for, feel free to show me some support by liking the video and by subscribing to my channel Whack on that good old notification button so we can keep doing this adventure together. As I mentioned in the intro, there will not be any in between us today. It is all about the Liverpool game and we will dive into that in just a minute because I will show you the match stats for the one game we have played off camera at home against Eintracht Frankfurt. We were the better team, but I did rest a couple of players such as there is Tonali and our striker Arezzo. Yeah, I wasn't really feeling it in the first half of this game, to be honest, because we were 1-0 down after 26 minutes. Renier scored in minute number 39, and from that point it kind of turned the dynamics within the game, if you will, and we started to really improve our football, and in the end we came out on top. That means, of course, that we are still doing quite okay in the league. We are in fifth position at the moment. With eight points, uh, Leipzig and Kern are on top with ten points. But as you can see, we have only played four games. Everything is to play for. Bayern Munich is in 15th position, where they freaking belong. There, I said it. But today we are here to play our first game in the group of death. Group A in the Champions League where we have been drawn with Liverpool, AC Milan and Atletico Madrid. Let's go to the tactical meeting. Um, drop deeper, that's probably a good idea. Opposition instructions, I'm also going to do that. I am going to go to very defensive. And that's it. Let's go to team selection. Now I am going to play the Certitudo tactic, simply because this is the only tactic that should work against teams like this and this is by far the biggest team we have ever played in the series so i guess it is really a logical choice to be using this tactic although i'm not even sure if we can do anything against liverpool we do have two injuries we have pazella who is still out for two more weeks and nicolas gonzalez is still well he's match fit but not really um, should I take him with me on the bench? I don't really think so. We have other players that can play in his position. So I'm not going to take Nicolas Gonzalez with me. It is the first game. It is the hardest game in the group. I'm expecting to lose. I think we can all agree on that. But this is the team to hopefully at least do something. Blanco in goal. Yurukai, Tronzebe and Amadozic as our back three. Sosa and Salamak is on the wing back position. Camara as a ball-winning midfielder partnered with Tonali in the deep-lying playmaker role, Hannibal Mejbri in the on-ganche role on the number 10, Strand Larsen as the target man and deep striker or advanced forward Arezzo. Of course we have some concerns about the tactical familiarity with the team shape, although we are playing the Certitudo tactic which hasn't changed in like what two whole seasons? Yeah, I'm not really sure what this is about, but I have told you that several times. Let's look at the Liverpool team, because I don't know if we want to see it, but we're going to have to. Allison in goal, Alexander-Arnold, Fabinho, Van Dijk, Alaba, Curtis Jones, Eduardo Camavinga. I saw that last episode. That is very unfortunate that he is also uh, at that team. Sadio Mane, of course, Firmino. Susa Suarez, is that Everton? Yep, wow, he is a good winger, man. And, as if it was necessary, Mr. Lotaro Martinez himself. 
Alrighty. Dressing room. I actually think that this is the best possible statement that we can do right now. We have got nothing to lose here. We know how good we are. Well, we also know how good Liverpool is, but that doesn't say it here. But we do. Let's show everyone else what we are capable of. With maybe pump fists. Boom. Some motivation. Total interview. What do you see being the deciding factor between two teams who have a very similar tactical approach? Do we now? Who knows? That's the beauty of football, isn't it? Ba-boom. Here we are at Anfield. Fingers crossed, guys, because this is going to be a toughie. Let's go. By the way, Liverpool, they are actually uh, being touted as the overall winners for the whole Champions League. So, yeah, it's not a shame if we lose like 3 or 4 nil or even more here. Um, trust me on that one. But Tonali with a corner kick in swinging ball. Gets headed away, and I have set that up though, there should be someone there, but there isn't, and Alaba gets all the space in the world, and wow, almost scores. Let me just, just to make sure, go to my set pieces corners, what was it, a left-sided corner, MCL, which is Camara, so he should be there, I guess, but that is a tag ball from the area, and the MCR is Tonali, so, hmm... Should I do this? What's that? Nope. Tonali is the kit to take her like this. And probably, no, nope, the other way around, it is okay. Something to keep an eye out for for future matches because that keeps happening to me and it is no bueno. New highlight, a throw in with Alexander Arnold. There he is, Everton. Ooh, cheeky back heel. Firmino to Jones, Kamavinga. Wah. Mmm. Yeah, we are 1-0 down. Well, it took him 25 minutes, um, but it is finally there. Everton, like cheeky back heel, ball gets to Firmino, to Jones. Mejbri tries and gets to the ball, but doesn't really succeed. And Kamavinga curls it in the far corner. Okay, we are 1-0 down. We are at very defensive, and I'm not going to change that. Maybe we could go to defensive. Um, but yeah, we have had zero shots and shots on target, of course. Our XG is non-existent. And I'm not really sure what to do about it because we are so... Well, Liverpool is a so much better team than we are. <laughs> wow. I have no idea who it was, but he hit the crossbar. Uh, yeah, they're just so much better than we are. Look at this XG and we are... You can't see it and it's not something that is wrong with the screen or the graphics. We simply don't have an XG at this point. We have 37% possession. Yeah, dressing room. Uh, let's say hands together and... Should I go for it's time to dig in? Fair enough. Start second half, let's go to cautious. Because as I mentioned, it doesn't matter to me. I am convinced we will lose this game. And it doesn't matter if we lose 1-0, 2-0 or 7-0. At least I, I want to try to score a goal. Uh, but there we go. We almost conceded one. Yeah. We have some yellow cards as well. New highlight for, I think, Salamakas with the throw-in. Yep. There he goes to Arezzo. Back to Salamakas. Ooh, skips past his man. Can he get a cross in for our target man, maybe? Mm, that's what's up, man. Arezzo with the goal. Salamakas with a Awesome assist, and we have scored at Anfield. Wow, let's go to defensive again after the replay. Look at this, man. That's a very good cross from Salamakas. Low crosses, boom, and Arezzo, clinical as he is, puts it in the corner of the goal. Let's pause game. Let's go to defensive. Should I praise him? I'm going to encourage them. Is that a thing? Yep, all green faces. New highlight though, Alaba with the throw-in to Mane, back to Alaba. Kamavinga, who is of, who of course is so, so good. And what happened? Leon Goretzka scores. That's what, that, that's what happened. Oof. Um, unexpected? Well, not really. 
but I didn't really realize what was going on because Alaba gave it to Kamavinga and he between seven, did he do a, how do you call it, a Rabona? Can I see it again? Can I see it again? Can I see it again? He didn't. My bad, my bad, my bad. But yeah, we are 2 1 down. Um, come on, man. That was obvious that it was a goal. Let's skip. Let's go to cautious again. Let's say nothing because a highlight has started. Tonali with an awesome ball to Sosa. Can he get the cross in? Back to Mo Camara. Oh, Arezzo. Wow, we. Wow, we, wow, we. Um, shout. Pause game. Let's encourage them. Uh, it doesn't even matter what happens in this highlight. Salamak is again to Tonali, but he is in quite of a pickle and Amatozic hesitates for too long. There is Lotaro Martinez, but Yurukai intercepts. Kamavinga, and I have a feeling they're going to score again. Alaba. Keeps it in bounds, but Salamak is good action. Tonali hoofs it away to Arezzo, but he can't reach it. And I think uh, they have a lot of space, and it's quite a ping pong. But there it is. Game over. Sadio Mane. You know what? Let's go to positive, because as I mentioned several times, it doesn't really matter. I just want to score another goal now. Firmino and... The, those little things, man, are just the difference between a good team, which we are, and a world-class team, which Liverpool is. That's the only big difference. 70 minutes in, almost at least. New highlight, Yurukai clears the ball from the back. Sosa, ooh, after burner time. But there's only Arezzo, but sometimes that is enough. Arezzo, it's so Sosa. I thought he was offside also. Okay, pause game. Uh, a couple of players are starting to die on us. Let's get Meshbury off for Renier in the number 10 position. Should I get Tonali off? I mean, the game is lost, right? So let's get Tonali off before he gets injured. Let's get Jean Serra on there. Confirm subs. Highlight is still going on, I guess. Didn't really see that. Mane now with the ball. And a corner kick. Okay, so I think like 15 minutes left with extra time. It would be awesome to score another goal, but at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if they score again. Let's do our final substitution. Um, let's go to tactics. Camara is starting to pass out, but also Salamakas and Sosa are. Let's get... Campanile on for Salamakas. There we go. Play ball. A couple of minutes left and then we have finished our first ever Champions League game. And it actually went exactly how I expected it to go. So, yeah. Our toughest opponent in the series so far. And probably um, also the, the hardest game in the group stage of this Champions League campaign. I'm not expecting us to even go beyond the group stage because we also have AC Milan and Atletico Madrid to play. But who knows? Um, I I guess Camara... <laughs> I guess you could say we are not being blown away by Liverpool. Although the game is over and if you look at these match stats, they might tell you otherwise. They have an XG of 3.03 we didn't even have one. Uh, two shots on target versus 13. 62% possession, but that is basically what we do with this Certitudo tactic. I'm. Is it weird that I'm saying that I'm not too bummed about this? I expected worse, guys. Come on. Dressing room. And this is maybe a tricky one, because I could go all, guys, you know, it was Liverpool... Uh, where, uh, let's move on. But I think I'm actually going to... I'm not going to go outstretched, outstretched arms. Hands on hips. Is that like... 
and then say, despite the result, I'm pleased with your performance? Why is everyone motivated? Why? Demotivated, I mean. Okay, let's hand it over to René Mullenstein. I can't. Alrighty. Defenders. Um, you were unlucky today, but good effort. Okay, midfielders. Good effort. Nope, they don't like that. I don't know, man. What do I know about team talks? Continue. Probably the demotivation is not too bad. The referee had a lot of work today with your team picking up several cards. Does that evident aggression worry you? It shows they got stuck in, which is fine by me. Absolutely, man. Quickly becoming very annoyed with Tuan Zebe. Okay. Yurukai might lose his place in the team with a few more performances like that. Oh, come on, guys. Don't be harsh. In other news, Milan has beaten Atletico Madrid 3-0. So I guess Milan is like the second best opponent. We will see that in a while. Because if we have a look at our schedule, guys. Well, we did two episodes like within a week. I'm, I'm lying. It's been two weeks, but like within two games. And I think I am now going to fast forward to... Maybe the very last game in the group stage of the Champions League. You know what? I will see how things go. Uh, if I can make a bold prediction. I don't think we are going to score that many points in the group stage. Maybe at home against Atletico Madrid. Against Milan. We will see about that. But probably I am going to come back either for the Milan game right here. Or for the Atletico Madrid game uh, in December. Either way, stay tuned for more Champions League football. It feels so good to say that. So guys, that was all for today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Although we have lost, I know. But it was against freaking Liverpool. If you have enjoyed the video, give me a big thumbs up. And if this is the kind of content you were looking for, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Whack on that good old notification button so you won't have to miss a single thing of this Bundesliga adventure. Thank you again for watching. Connect with me down in the comment section and I hope to see you very soon. Mm -hmm.